Welcome everybody to Coach's Comments live from the Security First Bank North Zone stage. I'm Cristiano Simonetta, joined alongside by Stars head coach Rocky Russo. Five, make it five straight wins for the Lincoln Stars, an eight to four win over the Waterloo Blackhawks. Rocky, thanks so much for doing this. And it's another start for you guys where after Saturday's great start, a 60 minute effort, you beat Sioux City 4 nothing. You find yourself down two goals in the first three minutes, but I guess there's just no panic ever in this group, the Lincoln Stars. What was your mentality going after that sequence? It is what it is, right? Like, we, we didn't panic. We, we just knew, hey, we haven't even gotten started yet. We need, to, we need to relax. We need to chip away and get back in the game. I thought we then dominated the rest of the period and, and make it a 2-1 game. But, um, no, there's no panic in this team. There's no, there's no anxiety or stress with this group. They know that our process yields the results that we want. And, and if we veer away from it, then, then we're not as good as we normally are. But uh, when we buy in, we have good habits our, and, and we trust that process. And everybody's playing. Everybody's doing the right things. We're going to continue to generate offense. We're going to continue to get scoring chances. Caden's going to make the saves he needs to make. We're going to break pucks out the right way. And, and we're going to find our way back into it. And it was 2-2 after 40 minutes. And then what happened to begin the third period was just crazy. Your group scores two. Connor Brown tied the game two to make it 3-3. Aiden Thompson scores his second of the night. Then it's 4-3. Then it's 5-3. Then it's 6-3. I mean, were you guys just looking at each other on the bench saying, I can't believe this is happening once again with this offense? No, I mean, we, hey, they, they got it to 5-3 or whatever it was. And, um, you know, it was kind of 5-4 at that point. And, and uh you know, we just needed to, to continue to chip away. And, and all of a sudden, we started scoring. We're creating chances. Um, everybody's kind of in on the act. Killian Keeker Olsen gets his first one tonight. Dougie Grimes gets another big one for us. So it was great to see those guys uh, engaged and involved in, in scoring goals for us. Killian Keeker Olsen is Lincoln Stars' debut. I think he gets an A-plus grade. He scores the game-winning goal, a goal and an assist. What would you think of 29's play? He was everything we expected with the trade. Uh, he's great on the dot. Uh, he's a heavy player. He makes plays. He competes. He works. He's great on the bench. He's vocal. He's mature. Um, you know, if you're going to trade away a young guy with all that upside in, in Christian Kosas, you have to get a guy back like Killian Keeker Olsen. And, you know, I've, I've said it in other interviews, the, the relationship that I had with him from coaching him in that, in that tournament in Russia allowed me to be comfortable to, to say to Nick, hey, this is the right guy. Let's go get him. He's going to fit in our room. He's going he's gonna to buy into our culture. Our guys are going to like him. And, you know, the, the biggest thing that Dalt said to me on uh, Thursday afternoon is he doesn't feel like a new guy. He feels like he's been here all year. And, and that's the best compliment you can give to a guy that walked in the door three days ago. And whether it's Braden Stan or Doug Grimes and now Keeker Olsen, you're seeing your new additions, even when you bring up Dasha Oliver, et cetera, they're fitting into that locker room. Is that more of a testament to the leadership group all the way down? It, it's, it's the leadership, but it's the culture that got instilled in, in August that has just grown and built from, from the, the foundation and then the players take over it and, and they, they own it. And so if you come in this locker room, you have to be a part of something. It's not about you, it's about the the logo on the front of your jersey. It's about the success of the organization and, and team success yields individual success. And so, you know, we obviously have incredible leadership. Daltz is one of the best captains I've ever been around in 17 years as a coach. Uh, Joe and, and Tom's do a great job, but we have external leaders that don't wear letters on their jerseys that make sure that they hold guys accountable. We're in the, we're in the video room today and I hear Gleb Vremyev kind of pop over and go, hey, take that hat off, you know, and, and it put a little smile on my face because guys know there's little rules that we follow and and it's not about the rule it's about buying into something bigger than yourself and so I'm just so proud of the way these guys are growing and and uh trusting each other and and obviously it's fun for our fans to watch us have the success yeah speaking of these great fans you're up to 15 6 and 1 at the ice box is there a secret serum that you know you inject with the guys because five straight wins you guys have been outstanding over your last 10 plus. it's these fantastic fans that come and support us right <laughs> Like, who wouldn't want to play in the icebox in front of these awesome people? So, no, we have the best fans in the USHL, and, and uh, this building's fantastic. Um, you know, the, the atmosphere tonight was unbelievable, and uh, it was great when they went and checked on the goal that, that uh, we scored there in the second because we got a chance to let the, let the crowd rumble again. So it's just been, uh, it's been a great uh, environment and, and real fun for us to see. 
You're going to need some more Tylenol, some medicine, because the topper's been in a madness and all that screaming. It was loud tonight. I didn't actually get to the ibuprofen, um, but, uh, but it was loud tonight. I think I was, uh, I was floating with the Nutrizio from, from before the game, so hats off to them for coming up big with, uh, with our pregame um, healthy energy drinks. So uh, if, if you haven't tried Nutrizios, go check it out. They're great. Yeah, they're down on O Street. Rocky, thanks so much for doing this. We'll see you tomorrow in Kearney. Thank you. That was Coach's Comments presented by Southside Auto Tech. We'll see you tomorrow night. The Stars and the Tri-City Storm tomorrow at Viero Center.